Okay, so we're gonna work on back up. Um, this is an awesome one. Oh, hang on. It's, 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 come here, baby. It's functional, right? Cause like sometimes you just need your dog to back up. If your dog is like Otis, they play fetch like in this range right here and you need them to back up a little bit. Um, but it's also awesome for just the, the joint health of their back legs. Like it's a great motion to be able to get them to go backwards. And it's something Otis has to work on anyway, based on his physical therapist. Um, but there are quite a few ways, I just let her have this, quite a few ways that you can teach this. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple of them. I taught kind of using a mixture of targeting and very light um, spatial pressure. If your dog is sensitive to spatial pressure, right? Some dogs really don't like it when you come into their space. It's why they're backing up. Just be careful. You can teach back up without using any spatial pressure at all. So. I'll show you how to do that a little bit, but that's not how I taught Otis. Um, all right, so Otis actually knows the, the back cue, but I'll show you how I started. I had a target down there. You can use um, like a balance disc or a towel, whatever you want. And then I use like the slightest spatial pressure with kind of backwards luring to get him to back up. And then I'd mark when he got on the target. Can you stand? Stand. Back. Yes. To be honest, you don't need to be saying back to start. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's a good uh, segue to if your dog is not going straight, I'll show you what you can do to try to get them to start going straight. Okay, so all that I've done now is put, create like a little channel here for him. Uh, and I can go about this two ways, but this channel is going to keep him straight. So I can either use this channel to, to uh, remove the need for spatial pressure, or I can use a little bit of spatial pressure to just get him to walk back in a straight line, right? So I'll show you the spatial pressure version first. Back. Yes. Back. Yes. Back. Yes. Okay. If I don't want to use spatial pressure, what I've done is create this little channel and it's blocked off on the end. And I'm just going to toss a treat in there and he's going to back out and I'm going to mark the backing out. Okay. Yes, good. Yeah. Yes, good. Yes, good. Get it. Yes, good. So once your dog's kind of already offering the behavior, you can add, what I did was add like a little bit more of a shaping component to see if he'll offer it. So if you've trained it really well with the target, the dog should actually do it pretty naturally. But um, I did not a great job with the target, but I just kind of switched to shaping it now that it's behavior he had been reinforced for. Come here. Yes. And you'll notice I'm tossing the treat backwards so that he's naturally moving backwards. Yes. Throwing it behind him. You can actually throw it further behind him than that if you want. Right here. Yes. Yes. And it doesn't matter if they turn around. Yes. And? Yes. Okay, so once I have it on a cue, this is one of my favorite things to play to kind of reinforce it. You can do it with shaping, but it turns into this fun game. Okay, back. Yes. And I'm still chucking it back a little bit. Touch. Back. Yes. Good. 
touch. Yes. Back. Yes. Touch. Back. Yes, good boy. And if you keep holding out, they'll keep backing up more and more. 